Geometric complexity often proves a bottleneck when rendering complex meshes. As an example, this mesh has over 60,000 triangle faces. One technique for speeding up rendering is to simplify the mesh, but significant visual detail can be lost during simplification. Although much of the detail can be recovered in the form of a bump map, the coarse geometry is betrayed by the polygonal silhouette. In our approach, we construct a simplified mesh that is guaranteed to enclose the original mesh, and at runtime we extract the silhouette of the original mesh and use it to clip the coarse geometry. This method also allows us to efficiently anti-alias the object's silhouette, a feature previously available only on high-end graphic systems with super sampling. Here we toggle silhouette clipping on a 500 face coarse hole on the left and compare with the 69,000 face original mesh on the right. This video highlights the contributions of our paper. Progressive holes allows us to construct a coarse mesh with the proper nesting property. Progressive holes define a sequence of meshes where coarse ones completely enclose finer ones. In this work, we make use of progressive outer holes. But as shown here, the same construction can also be used to form progressive inner holes. In this paper, we present an efficient scheme for extracting the 3D silhouette contour of a model. Our algorithm, described in the paper, builds a hierarchy of culling anchored cone primitives. With this hierarchy, we only need to test a small fraction of the model edges for silhouette hood. In red, we show the extracted silhouette edges of the rotating object. In blue, we also show the additional edges that were tested for silhouette hood. To get a better look, we freeze the silhouette contour and visualize it from another point of view. Even on this more complicated example, we can extract the roughly 15,000 silhouette edges from the original 600,000 in about 20 milliseconds. The edges obtained from silhouette extraction are used to draw a fan of faces into the stencil buffer, accumulating positive 1 values for front faces and negative 1 values for back faces. Shades of red represent negative stencil values, while shades of green represent positive ones. In the resulting stencil buffer, the stencil value at a pixel is positive if and only if it lies within the external silhouette of the object. The coarse geometry is then rendered subject to the stencil buffer. Another advantage of silhouette clipping is that anti-aliasing of the silhouette can be obtained with little extra cost. Here we compare the original high-resolution mesh with an anti-alias silhouette clipped bump map model. The jagglies have mostly disappeared, although the video JPEG artifacts are still present. Our last contribution is an improved scheme for constructing texture parametrization over the coarse mesh. We first implemented the closest point parametrization scheme of Signoni et al. However, we found significant artifacts near concave regions. Our improvement is to sample texture values by shooting a ray along the interpolated surface normal of the coarse hull. This new parametrization is generally smooth, thereby eliminating most texture artifacts. This video has been recorded in real time on a PC with a 550 MHz Pentium 3 processor and a $200 GeForce graphics card.